Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to identify 3,500 different plants that are completely edible. And you can be found all over the world, no matter where you are in the world, you can find these plants. I got the whiteboard out here, so I'm going to have to use it to kind of help explain a few things to you. Because it's, it can be kind of confusing if I don't at least draw a couple of pictures for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some material. I'll show you guys how to identify 3,500 plants. Just keep watching. Okay, guys, got my handy dandy notebook out here. Got some notes taken in it, so I don't leave anything out. But the first thing we're going to talk about in this, on these, all these plants, is that it's a family of plants. It's the mint family, and they're an easy to identify family of plants. They can be found everywhere in the world, like I said earlier, and they're pretty easy to, to identify. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's got a square stem. You can feel it in your fingers. If you, if you roll it, you can feel that it's square. We'll also have opposite leaves all the way up the plant. Okay, so you've got the opposite leaves, the square stalk, those opposite leaves are going all the way up and down the stem. Something else you can look for is the irregular flowers. The irregular flowers are going to look kind of like this. It'll look like that. That's kind of a side angle view of it. That's pretty much what it's going to look like. And it's an easy to identify plant, guys. I mean, as long as you know what you're looking for, it doesn't have any poisonous lookalikes. So, I mean, you got 3,500 different plants that you know just by looking at this picture right here. But I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a little walk, kind of show you a couple different species of mint. That way you can see that they've all got the same characteristics. They've got the square stem, opposite leaves, your regular flower. Something else you can remember is most of them will smell minty. So you can crush them up in your hand, the leaves up in your hand, smell it, and it's going to smell minty. But I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a walk. Just keep watching. Show you how to do it. All right, guys, here's a good example of a mint family plant. You could smell that 10 feet away from here. And it's got that square stalk. Okay, it's squared. It's hard to see that, but it is squared. And it's got those opposite leaves. See that? And you can smell it. When you take one of these leaves off, you can definitely smell it. Just gotta rub it against your thumb and you can smell that mint foot that or that mint smell. But those leaves are opposites all the way up that plant. You can see those flowers. There's several of these plants growing right here, guys. See those irregular flowers, guys. It's a little bitty, guys. All right, guys. Here's another one from in the mint family. See how it's got a squared stem, those opposite leaves. And you can rub that leaf and you can smell it. It smells minty. Okay guys, these characteristics I just showed you, you now know 3,500 different plants that you can use for food if you're lost in the woods or whatever. That's 3,500 plants all over the world. And there's a lot more family of plants like that in this book, Botany in a Day by Thomas J. Elfel. This is 
an awesome book if you're into plant identification and survival plants and survival medicine and stuff like that. You pick this book up because it's got so many good families of plants in it. And it's just like this, it'll teach you how to identify families of plants instead of just looking at one plant and trying to figure out what it is. You can look at the key characteristics and find out what it is plus thousands of other plants as long as it's a member of that same family. But I'll let you guys kind of get a closer look before I sign out here. Thomas J. Elpel, Botany in a Day. But thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope it helped you out. Sorry about the crudeness of these pictures, but kind of did what I had to do, and that's my ability, anyways. I'm not an artist, but pick this book up, guys. What do you think about it? Just go get it. It's an awesome book. But hit that like button, subscribe, leave any comments. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.